Greetings JPS family, I am Azaria Edwards and I'm a 6th grade science teacher at Brinkley Middle School and today we're going to talk about energy and the title of my presentation is Energy All Around Me. Now warning, yes this is going to be a video about 10 minutes or less, you're going to be an Einstein on energy, okay? So you're probably wondering what is energy? Hmm. Energy is simply the ability to do work. Everybody can do work. Your arms can do work. Your legs can do work. Your mom works. Your dad works. Okay? So, there are several types of energy, but today we're only going to focus in on three. And the first type is kinetic energy. So, what is kinetic energy? Okay? Kinetic energy is the energy of motion. Okay? Anything that can move has kinetic energy. Some examples may be kicking a ball, or maybe riding a bike, or even learning to dance on TikTok, my favorite. <laughs> the second type of energy is gonna be potential energy. Now this one gets a little bit trickier. Potential energy is energy that is stored, and it usually depends on the position of an object. So what I mean by that is, let's take this headband for example. Now, like, now, if you stretch it, the potential energy grows, okay? This is energy that is stored. It is not moving. This is not kinetic energy, okay? But if you release it, that potential energy converts into kinetic energy. So, again, stored energy, no movement. Kinetic energy, movement. All right? Some other examples will be a picture hanging on a wall. Stretching a rubber band like I just demonstrated, even, even holding your breath. Yes, holding your breath. Let's try it. Now let it out. Okay, so holding your breath is an example of potential energy because you hold it, you're holding it in. Okay, nothing is moving. It's understood that nothing is moving. But when you release it, it releases into kinetic energy, okay? And also standing at the top of the hill. So let's talk about position when it comes to potential energy for a second. If you and let's say your best friend were standing at the top of a hill, you have a greater, you have greater potential energy than a person at the bottom of the hill. Okay? And our third one is gonna be thermal energy. What is thermal energy? Thermal energy is the energy associated with the movement of particles, or in other words, heat energy. Okay, so when you think about thermal, think about heat. Some examples will be hot chocolate. Okay, hot chocolate is, has much more thermal energy than a glass of cold water. Or what about rubbing your hands together? Let's see. Hmm. Eventually, when you rub your hands together for a long amount of time, they're going to get a bit warmer, and they're going to get warmer, and they're going to get warmer. You are creating thermal energy. Okay? What about heating up your favorite snack in the microwave? You're creating thermal energy. Also, sitting in the sun. The longer you sit, the more energy is created. Okay? Now, when you're in class, if you're a visual and a um if you're a visual learner like me, you're going to want to kind of write down these notes so that you can go back and see them later. So one of my favorite things to use is a tree map, okay? And it'll probably look a little something like this to go with today's lesson. Energy will be at the top along with its definition. Then you will bring it out into three strands, one for kinetic, one for potential, and one for thermal energy, okay? Then you want to go into talking about some examples, of course, write your definition, and at the very bottom, you want to write down your takeaways. What was the most important thing you got from that lesson? Okay, so let's see what you've learned, okay? I want you to go on your favorite social media site, I want you to take a couple pictures and a couple videos of what's going on around you and hashtag JPS I got energy. Okay? So the, again, once again, you're gonna go, you're gonna use your phone, you're gonna point it to something, you're gonna make a video or take a picture, and you're gonna hashtag JPS I got energy so that I can see it. Now that you know a little something, don't go looking at your friends like this. And that's all I have for you today. Thank you for joining me and I hope to see you soon.